Okay, hello guys. This is my long-awaited uh, video for the working throttle. Um, the first time flown with the throttle um, was on the cross the pond flight last Saturday and Martin. So uh, you see, it's some some slightly configuration is further needed, but all in all, it's working. Um, currently we are on a climb to 5,000 feet with um, a speed set in MCP of 208 knots. And I will demonstrate to you now the automatic movement of the throttle levelers. So first of all we're gonna speed up uh, 250 knots and the levelers moving forward and when we are slowing slowing down we see the level is moving back into its idle position Again, speeding up, the level is moving forward. To the maximum position, it's all regulated. It's a little bit dark there, but you can see the servos in the background when we move the speed back. So you can see that the servos. I'm moving the throttles. As well, the flaps level is working. When I move down the flaps uh, to position one, you will see the indication. Okay, now we got the overspeed. So to show you the next thing, uh, the speed brake. Can deploy the speed brake, and so as you can see, the speed brake is also deployed in the in the model. We can move it up again. The speed brake is going moved up. Also, we can arm the speed brake. So, we have the speed brake armed symbol in there. So that means once uh, the aircraft is touching down. Um, the speed brake will deploy automatically so we can move for example the flaps to 10 and as you can see they are going back to 10 and same when we are moving it back up to 0 the flaps flaps going back to 0 Also working when I now disengage the auto throttle with the auto throttle disengage button in there. I can move them in a manual way. So I have full manual control. And when I enable again the auto throttle with the speed or the N1 mode, and one is on programmed now. It will get automatically, so I can can't move it with my hands anymore. Again, if I want to disable it, push the button. A relay is cutting the power to the to the servos, and I can move it back manually. Once in idle, you can. Uh, adjust and deploy the spoilers. Of course, it's not working when we are airborne. Um, you can, once it's not in the idle position, it's locked, so you cannot deploy uh, the spoilers when the throttle is not back in the idle position. So if I switch now back on the auto throttle, you will see the throttle starts moving again and will connect to the MCP auto throttle function. This was my short demonstration about my throttle panel. And as you can see some work, some further work is needed, but all in all, it's quite looking good and working well and uh, it's 
you've been you will be able to fly it now in a more professional way than with this lousy chocolate. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.